This is the first time that you and I have been back here since 2015. We were here for that site visit, but this is the first time we've been out actually on the site since we were walking with Al Keats that time. Going back and thinking about how much everything's changed since like when we came out, seeing the roads, seeing the rigs and the people, and it's surreal, you know? How did we end up finding this project? That This whole trend, I mean, if you think of where it goes and all these other districts, there just had to be something here. I remember when we came out and we're walking around with Alan and finding visible gold here, visible gold there, and just for us to just get out of the truck in one day, walk around, see that much gold, and not have something significant, that was like, that was it, you know, for me. It's cool to see the map when we first came here. I think there was two companies, and now there's 50, 60, 70 companies on the map. And oh my God. It's incredible. Yeah, it's about time though. This is a real district. It's a big district and yes, we have a really exciting story, but a lot of people do. And I think this entire district is just gonna totally open up. We're so lucky to have so much ground. Yeah. That we got here first. When we met and we started the company, I think we seeded it with uh, $250,000. And we held on to every, every dollar we put in there uh, very closely. <laughs> oh yeah. And then uh, I think we ended up in Newfoundland first, so we started picking up the properties here. We picked it up first, but then we needed the cobalt. Right, right. So you're driving, you're, <laughs> one day you call me, you're driving through the town of Cobalt, Ontario. And I said, Denny, I have no idea what cobalt is, but I've heard that they're using this in batteries and cell phones. And you're like, yeah, but there's silver in there. And I was after there for the silver. Right. It was the silver we were interested in. And you said she wants like $200,000 for four past producing mines. You think about that now? <laughs> I mean, at the time, that was almost all the money we had. But we bought that, and then over 12 months, we sold those for six, seven million, and all that money went back here. This is a pretty cool story. I mean, for Canadians to have what could be the most significant discovery in a generation happen in their backyard, actually in Newfoundland of all places. Yeah, for sure. So, so we're, we're coming up on the, uh, that's it, the dome there. That's where uh, Al brought this us. This is where it all began. This is where we found the gold. Yeah. First. We were over there yesterday. There's still, uh, they got gold circled on the vein. So it's still VG over there. Remember we went, walked kind of all the way down this way, back up this way. And then there was the odd vein here and oh, there's a VG here. And then this hole was drilled over there and it was 20 grams over eight meters or something. It was cool seeing gold and yeah. I wanted the property, but even to this day, it's kind of like, you know, yesterday we saw gold over at JBP. Like people don't see that. No. You don't, don't. you don't get that kind of stuff. You can go on a lot of site visits and see a lot of different projects. And, you know, it's very rare to see gold. And so the, the amount that we saw here early, I think it was just amazing. Like just to have that much and that, those grades and all that stuff all over the place. There was a few pundits that were saying, you know, oh, Newfoundland, there's never anything big. I don't know where this rumor started. When we talked about Newfoundland, I remember getting chuckles like, oh, good luck. Everyone was anti-mining. The whole street, everything was just ice cold. No one cared. You said that we were so lucky. You're like, we're so fortunate because we'll never get a better buy opportunity in our lifetime. Uh, this is like the bottom of the market. We may never see another bottom like this ever again. Yeah. And so you looked at a glass half full, which was really, that was really cool. So I think that's what kind of, I wanted to align myself with that thinking and I couldn't do anything else. I don't, I don't know any other businesses or anything, you know, this is, this is about it. So when you meet somebody that's kind of against the grain going, wow, everything is so dirt cheap. This is it. We gotta, we gotta take advantage of it. Yeah. And the, the one thing we've always done is we've bought things cheap when nobody else is interested. And that's kind of been the resounding success from a shareholder value point on, on newfound gold. I still don't feel that we're in that raging bull market, but it just goes to show that it took us six years and we're still not to the apex of the market. Something's brewing in gold and uh, the cycles are long. We got a lot of cash. We got an amazing team. And just about everywhere we drill, we can't help ourselves with fine gold, so. <laughs> I think we just have to throw more money, more drills, drill more holes and prove to everybody that this is not just a zone or two or three zones, it's many, many more zones and the potential for multiple mines.